with, uh, with Rocco Australia. I mean, interesting views that he has. But let's now go to, well, the most talked about story here in South Africa and on all our news platforms right now. Now, as the new Nyaope drug craze called Bluetooth is fast gaining popularity in some townships, a renewed warning from the South African Medical Association that it could be fatal. Nyaope addicts are now sharing blood to get high. SABC News filmed three young men who have been hooked on the dangerous narcotic concoction for years on condition that we hide their identities. Now, some of the following visuals may offend sensitive viewers. It's a life on the edge. Feeding their Nyaope addiction of more than 14 years. And it's now reached even more dangerous levels. Addicts are now not just sharing syringes, they're also sharing blood. It's an expensive habit spending about 500 rand on nyaupe a day and injecting themselves with each other's blood sometimes five times a day. But it seems the itch for a fix outweighs the risk of HIV infection and other diseases. For these addicts, the gamble is not too big. You're not at risk. Risk, risk, risk. Mara, I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to I'm going to do anything or let me get a shop to feed my addiction. After years of smoking the drug, it no longer gives them the desired kick. Incessant injections eventually cause veins to collapse. And medical experts have now warned about the deadly consequences of what's commonly referred to as Bluetooth. You take the risk of acquiring bloodborne infections, and in particular infections such as HIV, hepatitis B or hepatitis C, which are highly infectious viruses. And what we're finding at the moment is somewhat concerning the rates of these infections in those particular communities around the country, particularly in our major metropolitan areas, from Tswane all the way to Cape Town, is significant. Authorities are yet to determine how common Bluetooth has become, but the macabre cost-saving measure is believed to be taking some townships by storm. Criselda Lewis, SABC News, in Soshanguve. Yeah, another terrific piece of journalism there by our own Criselda Lewis. Of course, we're asking you the question of the day. Uh, and the question of the day, is Nyaupi getting out of control in our community? Should we crack down more on it? Should we take a tougher stance uh, uh, on it? Well, some of you have been tweeting, yes, we should be doing this. This one uh, from Mlungis. He says, uh, this Nyaupi problem seems to be getting worse. I hope it doesn't do to SA what crack cocaine did to the USA. Mlu, it's already happening, my friend. Bantu says, newsroom, these kids think they're vampires now. Now they're sharing each other's blood. I'm Muli Malong. I says, why is Al so reluctant to decisively deal with the drug dealers? We can learn one or two things from uh, President Duterte and Widodo. Yes, kill the drug dealers, she says. Uh, Nikiwa says, Kiwa says, newsroom, 
I feel like you're advertising this Nyapri drug by what, what you're showing on Bluetooth. No, we are educating. That's the job of the public.